previously, Pluto presents The Big Shuffle. The Big Shuffle is a film noir card game where you play as one of six characters trying to make their way in the big city. Starting the game. The city setup. The game will start after each player has picked the character card. Place your character card face up in front of you. Next, you're going to take all of the who, what, and where jumbo cards and place them in the center of the table next to each other with the matching tile cards on top. These are your scene cards. Now take the Noir deck, shuffle it, then place it to the left of the scene cards. Then take the Scene Change deck and the Informant deck, shuffle, then set them up on the opposite side of the table. Each player then draws a card from the Informant deck each player is dealt a personal agenda card, and then an additional agenda card is placed between each player as a shared agenda between them alone. Lastly, dealt five cards going clockwise. Starting with the player who's gotten up the earliest, Early Bird gets the worm. For your first game, it is recommended that agendas between players are turned face up to reduce the amount of secrets players have to keep track of. Influence. Influence is your power to bend the city to your will. Your character has a base influence that can increase and decrease by using goons, loot, informants, etc. You can almost never have too much influence, but having too little will prevent you from changing scenes. Before the game begins, you'll need to learn the card types and what they do. Hey, don't look at me, I don't make the rules. Agenda cards are how you win. You can use any combination of who, what, and where scene cards on any of the agendas you have or share to win. First things first, let's look at your character card. Who you are in this town can make all the difference. The character card has a few important details for you to know. First, what can you do? Each character card has an ability unique to them. Second, every character card will have three symbols with a number next to it. These symbols stand for your influence in a certain area, who, what, and where. You may have noticed these symbols correspond to the three symbols on the scene decks. If that's the case, good eye. Informants. Ooh la la, we got a starlet in our midst, and she wants to talk with you? Golly. Hey, you sugar. I've got some info for ya. Informants are cards that'll be with you at all times. Each one comes with the very own influence that's added to yours. They don't leave right away like goons, staying in play, be in your eyes and ears, plus they come with their own perks. Oh no, someone has it out for my informant. If your informant gets taken out, immediately draw a new one. Everybody knows somebody. You've got your hands full. There are several different card types that can help you on your journey. Action and reaction. Action cards played on your turn. They're real straight shooters. They do what they say and then they're discarded. Reaction cards are played in response to your opponent's actions, often stopping them in their tracks. Loot. Loot can be played to help give you an edge in a sticky situation. With the right hat, coat, or briefcase, you'll be running this town. You can have up to three pieces of loot on your person. Goons. Hey buddy, I heard you're trying to change the scene. Need some muscle? That's a goon card. These guys are a dime a dozen. Goons may be played for free during any player's scene change attempt. They are simply one-time influence modifiers to a scene change. They are played for free to affect a scene change attempt and get discarded immediately afterwards. Guess they don't stick around. Other players may then play goons in turn in order to help or hurt your influence. A player may pass their turn during the goon phase, but in doing so, they forfeit the right to play any further goons during that turn. The goon phase continues until all players have passed their turn. Hey, before you go rushing into things, let's figure out what the scene is. In the center of the table, you will have noticed the who, what, and where jumbo cards. These cards are your key to the city. Knowing what they do and how to change them is vital. These cards have arrows and numbers in the bottom left and right. These indicate how easy or difficult they are to move to the uptown or downtown area. Why would I want to move them, you might ask? Well, the city has a life of its own. Each scene card comes with its own ability, but those abilities are only active in Midtown, aka the center. Scene Change Deck The Scene Change Deck adds a bit of spice to every scene change. It can help or hurt you at changing a scene. Whenever you make a scene change, you will flip over the top of the Scene Change Deck. 
The effects of the scene change card are applied immediately. Will you change the scene to your favor? Draw and find out. Changing the scene. Changing the scene is an action you can take on your turn only once per turn. When changing the scene, first declare the name of the scene card you wish to move and which direction you wish to move the scene card. Next, draw a card from the scene deck. Add all current influence points and any modifiers. Lastly, the one making the scene change may play a goon to affect their influence. All goon influence is then added and subtracted. The scene change either passes or fails. Passes. The scene card moves up or down. If a new scene card is shown in Midtown, it's flipped over activating it immediately. Fail. The scene card does not move. Now that you've got all the card types down, it's time to play. It's your turn, kid. Make your move. On your turn. First, any start of turn abilities activate. Next, you draw a card from the Noir deck. You can then either make a scene change or play an action or a loop card from your hand. The goal for players is to change the scene centered in Midtown to match their personal agendas. Turns will continue until one person has matched any combination of the who, what and where cards from any of their agendas in the Midtown row on their turn, winning the game. Change the scene. Pursue your agenda and make it to the top. The city can be yours for the taking as long as your goals aren't swept away by the big shuffle.